Welcome back. Mr. O here with another episode of Walk Me Through Tech. Now, I got a slightly used Samsung Galaxy S10. It's actually a lot smaller than my... Yeah, it's actually a lot smaller than my Stylo 6. But, let's have a look in the back. A couple of scuffs, and that's to be expected from a phone that's been refurbished. Cameras... Very similar to my Stylo 6, except smaller. And it doesn't have a stylus built in. Well, let's see. Does it have any juice? Let's turn the power on and find out. Come on, focus. Hmm. Sorry you can't really see that very well. The previous user was a an AT&T user. And we of course we get the startup screen. Like I said this phone yeah. <laughs> yeah, this phone is a lot smaller than my Stylo 6. <laughs> it's about the size of the iPhone. About some of the iPhones. <laughs> and like I said, this is, my Stylo 6 is a little bigger than my hand. But look at the phone right next to it. Look at the phone right next to my hand. It is small. Everything seems to be in working order. Um, like I said, the previous owner is, of course, the previous owner was an AT&T user. But as I understand it, this phone is factory unlocked. So, but I don't think I'm gonna be putting my SIM card from my Cricut phone into my, into this phone. What I'm actually going to use this phone for is Samsung Dex. I'm gonna sign up, I'm gonna sign in with my Google account and I will be right back. After I signed in, I thought I'd have a go with slow motion capabilities. This phone does have slow motion capabilities. That's another reason why I bought this phone in the first place. Look at how slow the ceiling fan goes. Now that I've gotten my phone set up, I'm going to show you... Hopefully, I'm going to attempt to use Samsung DeX using this device here. Boys and girls, this is it. My first boot of Samsung DeX. And here we go. This is Samsung DeX. Oh, bit of an overscan problem. I can work with that. Now, as me if memory serves me correctly, you can actually, yeah. Let's see if I can figure out a way to screen capture this. I'll be right back. Much, much, much later. Now, this old TV has a bit of a physical problem. When I hooked my phone up to this TV and I selected the audio to come from the speakers, <laughs> I got no sound because I think this TV is on his last legs. <laughs> yeah. So, it's a no-go on this unit. I was hoping to use it as a monitor, but there appears to be some kind of flickering on the TV as well. So, I'm gonna use this other one over here instead. Okay, folks. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn this TV on. Oh, but it didn't. Okay, there we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is connect my my new Samsung Galaxy S10 to the TV, and I'm going to show you Samsung Dex a little more. I couldn't, I couldn't find anything to do with screen capture. The best I can do is screen, screenshot. I can't. The best I can do is give you a screenshot of Samsung Dex. First, I'm going to. Yeah, first I'm going to. Unlock the phone with my fingerprint. Then I'm going to, of course, slot it into that adapter. And as you can see, well, 
I haven't set I haven't set it to automatically connect to Dex, but if I press the Windows key and W at the same time. See that? Samsung Dex. Let me see how this is going. I hope. I hope y'all can see that okay. Excuse my big ass stomach and my three chins. <laughs> okay, this is Samsung Dex in a nutshell. It's basically your desktop environment created by the One UI, created by Samsung. It's basically an Android, yeah, it's basically an Android environment. Let's see, hold on. Let me open up YouTube. Internet must not be good. Now I have it set to where it kind of takes over the screen. Some apps you cannot use the scroll wheel, you have to do this. Uh, what I found with Samsung Dex though is some apps kind of lag a little bit. I mean, this is a two year old phone, but it serves well for what I need it to do. I mean, if anything, let me close this out. I can always switch back to mirrored mode by pressing, oops, yeah, by pressing Windows and W at the same time. And if I rotate, oh. yeah, hold on a minute. Okay, there we go. Okay. I did not mean to do that. So as you can see, I'm in mirrored mode. I mean, if you open an app like Instagram or TikTok, the phone will go back to portrait mode. But yeah, you can do a lot of things in mirrored mode, but it kind of does, but it kind of does leave this letterbox effect. Oh, well, it is what it is. I'm actually editing this video right now using mirrored mode because for some reason Kindmaster kind of crashes in Samsung Dex. I'm also going to make a separate video on how to transfer files from my Stylo 6 to my Samsung Galaxy S10. And there's my Samsung Galaxy S10 down there connected to the adapter right there. Okay, here's the screenshot of Samsung Dex. Um, what I did was I took a screenshot of the desktop using the screenshot button over here. It kind of resembles your Windows environment. Now, I can show you more later once I get my A20 fixed. That way I can screen capture Samsung Dex. But until next time, this has been Walk Me Through. I'm Mr. O saying peace, and that's a wrap, and I will see you again next time. This video's over, but if you enjoyed it, click that like button. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you'll know when I post more videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's plenty more to come soon. Until next time, peace. I wanna be loved by